You think Tom Cruise has ever chosen to listen to a rap song? I feel like I would love to know what kind of music Tom Cruise listens to in his downtime if he listens to music. I don't even, I don't think that he necessarily would listen to quote unquote weird music, but I think no matter what it would be, when he told me, I would go weird. <laughs> Like imagining Tom Cruise listening to anything is just feels so weird in my head. Like him, him bobbing his head to like a song in his kitchen while he cuts up some tomatoes or something like that. Usher, don't get me started on that guy, okay? What's Usher doing now? He's going out breaking up families. You get pleasure out of this, you, you sick motherfucker. I'm never taking my wife to an Usher concert, man. You think I don't know cool? I see cool guys every day. I make sure to block the eye line between them and my wife so she doesn't get any ideas, okay? I'm protecting my wife from cool guys 24-7. You think I don't know what a cool guy looks like? I don't even want to know what cool looks like in Ohio. Probably a dude wearing his tack vest to Subway. He's getting ready for a civil war, but if the dude puts green peppers on his sandwich, he's going to cry. So I, I, I was over the line, but it's just making me so mad. <laughs> just pisses me off, man. He's a home wrecker. So true. Also, for those of you who are the explainers, any lore masters in the chat? Kiki Palmer and her boyfriend went to an Usher concert, and then he like seduced. Kiki Palmer and gave her like a kiss on the neck, and she was like, "I ain't mad at you." And then the boyfriend posted like you're the mother of my child why would you do this to me and then now they don't follow each other on social media they're not together anymore and then J usher was trying to do it to another girl who's the wife of an nba player but then that girl stopped it and sat in the chair of uh, or sat in the lap of her husband and was like not today usher not today i just don't know what usher's doing out here man usher i'm giving you a, a wag of the finger today usher when did when did we get so much sex mixed in with the music here. It used to just be, I want to hold your hand, I want to hold your hand, I want to hold your hand. And now it's all to say, flip me over, fuck me in the butt, oh, stretch me out like a fucking balloon, blow me up like a fucking rocket in the sky. This shit makes me sick, man. Swipe your nose like a credit card. I am not even can't even finish the damn line. Makes you want to throw up. I'm forced to listen to this stuff at the strip club all the time. In I wasn't alive in like the 1950s. Were people really stripping to like she'll be coming around the mountain? Stuff like that? That's hilarious. Flipping quarters on the stage because quarters are worth like five dollars in inflation adjusted. She'll be riding six white horses. <laughs> I just picture my my grandpa, but like de aged like fifty years, but he still looks old, sitting in the strip club. She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. He's like, oh fuck, fuck yeah, yeah she will. Flick, it's a a, a nickels landing on the stage. Fucking, yep. <laughs> She's just taking off her hat and one of her sandals. Oh, man. But what did they play at the strip club in the 1950s, man? What do they play at strip clubs today? I've never been. Well, the two times I went in like 2007 and 2009, they played uh, exclusively classic rock ballads from the 1970s and 80s. But this was also in Ontario, Canada, so like, I don't know. Can you speak to the ass inflation? I can't speak to anything. I, I mean, this bit, you, you know as well as anybody else, librarian. I've m spoken about the few times that I went to a strip club in my life uh, on stream. I've spoken about it many times, and I think that the strip club is fucking weird, and I don't get it. And both times when I was in... I was highly uncomfortable. <laughs> Not because, well, I mean, the dynamic is weird because the women are like interested in you and you're like, 
I'm literally like 19 years old and wearing like a threadless t-shirt. No, if that was shoes that my mom bought for me, like, no, you're not. But I'm smart enough to at least know that. The other weird thing was like all the guy, the guys there, like, I almost want to say, and you can copy on me for this, but there's some truth to it. It's like, I was there like a half, ironically is probably not the right word, but I wasn't there for like gratification. I was there because I was like, it was my friend's birthday and people were like, let's take him to the strip club. And I was like, I guess, I, I was there as like Louis Theroux, right? It was just an, an unusual experience. I was, I was doing my, I was on my dark tourism bend. Anyway, but then like 95% of the men who were in the strip club were like, yeah, this rules. And I was like, you are stupid. Or maybe I'm stupid. I don't know, but I don't get it. I'll go with like eight, get a boner with eight of my friends. And we can't even suck each other off or they kick us out? Whatever happened to freedom? I don't know, it's just weird is all I'm trying to say. So I, I can't speak, to, I'm, what I'm assuming what the question is, is have strippers' asses inflated? And the honest answer is I have no idea. I even really look at their asses when we were there because I was mostly just like trying not to, you know, get scammed. <laughs> so I remember like when it was my friend's birthday, they... The, one of the dancers came over and was like, it's your birthday, you have to do a shot. And he was like, okay. You know, he's turning 20 or 21. And then the stripper like went away for like a minute and then she came back with a tray of like eight tequila shots. And then she fucking did four of them right there. And then like my friend had one and he passed three around. It was like, she, she upsold him like crazy. She had the foot in the door technique. She's probably the owner now. But he wasn't a pervert either. I, to be honest with you, I don't even think he wanted to be there. And that's maybe the most fucked up part is his own birthday. It's like it was his birthday. And the other people were like, you should go to the strip club. And I think he was like, I don't really want to. And then they were like, we're going. <laughs> Careful, Chip, it's a weird stream today. It's not a weird stream at all. I'm always breaking taboos. I'm always saying swear words. I'm always using Gen Z terminology, saying shit like, I'll be like, whatever happened to sucking dick? Now all anybody talks about is eating ass. People are like, whoa! I thought only my friends talked like that. No, I'm fucking, I'm not, even, I'm not that old. I'm not that old. I'm 34. Chibli, I'm just thinking too, that's kind of a great bit. That's kind of a great tweet. Whatever happened to sucking dick? Now all everybody talks about is eating ass? 